Ladies and gentlemen, if there's a human reviewer uh, looking at this segment, because I'm following YouTube guidelines and community guidelines, and I am simply reading from CNN, The Guardian, NPR, Insider, The New York Times, Newsweek, and let's start. Texas, Texas could vote to secede from U.S. in 2023. Uh, that's Newsweek. CNN, Texas GOP adopts resolution rejecting results. Insider, Business Insider, Texas GOP votes to reject validity of Joe and the results. New York Times, Texas Republicans approve platform declaring you know who, illegitimate. And so let's just explain how we got to this point. And if there's any uh, wonderful liberal Democrats or left-leaning people or observers watching this segment, when Trump defeated Clinton in 2016 after Bernie Sanders was cheated in the Democratic primary, when Democrats blamed another country for infiltrating its servers to inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated. When Democrats did not accept the Donald defeating Hillary and stated that, well, a Steele dossier said that he was in a Moscow hotel room. We have to look into this. Comey's memos, the disgruntled rantings of a former Government employee stated that Trump asked for loyalty. Oh, my God. And what do you think happens in a Democratic administration when somebody isn't loyal? Okay, they're immediately... Actually, President Obama actually fired a top general, okay, simply because of a Rolling Stone article. Then there was no evidence that what was stated within the Rolling Stone article actually took place. Okay? So, Democrats demand loyalty. It's just that media media is okay with that. But there was no evidence that Comey ever, uh, that, 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 that Trump ever demanded Comey sign some kind of pledge, or I don't even know, I forgot what was in the memos, that started the Mueller probe special counsel, which found nothing. You get the ball rolling when you think that Facebook ads and Twitter bots from another country helped install Donald Trump into the Oval Office in 2016. You you begin this era of not accepting the results when Democrats, Comey, Strzok, McCabe, Clapper, Brennan, CNN, MSNBC, The Washington Post, The New York Times, The Atlantic, New Yorker, New York Magazine, uh, Rolling Stone, Esquire, Vanity Fair, when everyone is celebrating the Steele dossier, when everyone is suspicious of how Trump could have possibly defeated Clinton, was it Facebook ads? Was it a concerted effort by another country because uh, Trump... At that point, wasn't as hawkish, but he ended up being even more hawkish than President Obama towards that country. And so, when you when you begin by utilizing intelligence agencies against and when it, when an outgoing Democratic Party administration utilizes intelligence agencies, its intelligence chiefs that are outgoing that are leaving to frame and set up an incoming Republican candidate. Don't complain when the Texas GOP, six years later, (laughs) adopts these resolutions. Okay? Don't complain also when Trump is successful at creating or producing suspicion. Okay? Democrats were suspicious of Trump from the day he decided to enter politics until today. And even the most absurd allegations were viewed as uh, raw intelligence. That's what they call the Steele dossier. 
Um, Alexander Downer wasn't when he when he said that George Papadopoulos was in on something, and then Papadopoulos was set up and framed, and exculpatory evidence was denied in court that would have prevented George Papadopoulos from ever you know serving a, it was like a month in jail. And so he was exonerated from that exculpatory evidence that wasn't given to the judge. But when you when you start this, oh, what is a what does an Australian diplomat say about one of Trump's, um, one of Trump's, uh, you know, people within within his within his uh, campaign or his circle? When you start this, you get the Texas GOP. Now. Trump never see the thing is the Washington Post and 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 CNN and, and and Reuters and the Associated Press never phrased or never um presented or framed stories about the the James Clapper's ODNI report or the DHS report these intelligence reports or the Mueller probe, or allegations about Trump and that country that was supposed to have installed him into the Oval Office. They never framed these this suspicion as baseless claims, lies. Because a lie to the Associated Press now is a claim without evidence. Well, there was always a claim without evidence. Don't 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 say an appeal to authority as evidence because there are people in Trump's circle that you could appeal to. For him to justify or say, hey, you know what? Speak to this person. Speak to that person. Speak to this former government official. Speak to John Ratcliffe. Speak to Navarro. Speak to others. Speak to Giuliani. So don't go the route of appeal to authority. But when you when you when you say now that everything Trump says is lies and baseless claims of baseless it's a baseless claim well it's based upon <laughs> uh suspicion the steel dossier alexander downer um the odni the dhs report james clapper telling chuck todd there was no direct evidence of anything but he still they still investigated 45 and when you have an outgoing Democratic administration leveling intelligence agencies and having all of media serving as complicit, you know, willing participants in setting up and framing an incoming president based on lies and baseless claims. Because when you have James Clapper telling Chuck Todd, there's no evidence, no, there's no direct evidence that Trump, uh, that, uh, that anyone colluded. When you have that, and you had all these people, Mueller time, it's Mueller time, and then Mueller probe ended, it was wah, wah, wah. When you have f- four years of that, don't complain that now you have the Texas GOP not viewing mashed potato brains in the manner you'd like, okay? And it's very li- there are very likely going to be other Republican state parties doing the same thing. Now I'm following YouTube guidelines. I'm not I'm not addressing the actual claims of 45, like the specific claims. But what I am saying is that when you get the ball rolling, when you get the ball rolling and you start this you level suspicion and you make baseless claims and you legitimize or publicize or justify lies. Okay, the Steele dossier was one great lie. It was a big you know, compilation of lies. When you when when Democrats and media said it was well, it was raw intelligence. It was really raw refuse. You can't have a double standard in terms of suspicion. If you're going to level suspicion as, at Trump, if the standard of suspicion at, uh, towards Trump, if the standard of suspicion utilized against Trump is well, somebody said he said this, then get ready for the standard of suspicion to be leveled. Not only against Joe and Hunter and Hillary and everyone else, but they're going to read emails. <laughs> they're going to read Hunter's emails, the DNC emails, um, the Clinton Foundation emails, all of those things. Because they were published. 
and they show clear pay-to-play schemes. And if you utilize the standard of suspicion against Trump <laughs> towards Democrats, it's like far more investig actually a more justified push for investigations. Anyway, hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel and the Bitcoin Crash channel below. Thank you so very, very much. This is a very, very interesting topic. And I tried to give you a different angle that addresses, you know, YouTube uh, community guidelines. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you.